my name is Birendra. And guys, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, a recent interview question that was on AD. So we have two AD. We have to compare it. Right? The contents of both the AD should be uh, same, right? So or when it is uh, not same, then it should print true or false based on the uh, contents of the uh, array if both are equal then it should be true if both are not equal then it should be false right so uh, let's get started so the requirement was we have two int array right so first we will take it as one two three four five fine and another int array with variable name called array two we have the value one two three four and six so this is the input they have provided right now their requirement is we have to compare both the array and then we have to print true and false based on their equality and yeah but uh, using java stream api because we cannot use arrays uh, we can do it uh, in other ways also by using the arrays class where we will use arrays dot is equal and passing both the area and it will give you the uh, result whether it is true or false by comparing each elements of the area similarly we can use for loop also so there are other alternative ways right so in this video i'll be talking about i'll be telling you how we will do it using the stream api right so in stream api we have uh, for primitive data types like in double float long so we have uh, a different uh, uh, for each primitive data types, we have different stream class. For int primitive data, we have int stream. For long, we have long stream. For double, we have double stream. These all are available in Java util stream package. Okay. So here we are using stream app, int stream. Right. So if you can see it here, it is available. It is coming from Java util stream package. Right. Similarly, we can have uh, double if it is long. Then long stream also we have. Right. So likewise for all streamed, uh, all primitive data types, we have uh, those stream classes are available, right? Here we are using stream int stream. Now we have called, uh, we have one function called range. So range is nothing but you need to provide the range of the array. So from starting to end. So here we have, we will start from zero and we will go till array one dot length. But here one interesting point is what, you know, we no need to do anything to, you know, to do n minus one because it will do it for you, for you. So here what it tell you, the range is uh, uh, except two input parameters. One is starting, that is in inclusive. That means the positions of the first index, first parameter will be fixed. It will start from zero. We are providing it will start from zero itself providing one it will start from one so whatever the initial value we are providing it will consider that right the second is in and exclusive but the end exclusive means here area dot length this will give you five right but the last fifth three five one five that value will be excluded right so it will consider from n minus one that means till fourth right till fourth uh, fourth size that means uh, you can say it another way like um, let's say I will I will tell you here let's comment it here I will do it one thing array to dot size since both the sort length since both the elements are similar so their size will be same right so if we print it here we are getting five right so what it is saying in stream what it is saying uh, uh, it, it accept two input parameters right first is the uh, initial one so this is inclusive this is exclusive and one but the here what is the uh, value five so size is five but it will take up to it will consider it as four so it will do n minus one that means zero one two three four so it is uh, achieving the entire uh, you know, means uh, yeah, each index it is uh, able to accessible right so initially uh, if we are doing from our uh, our own with different uh, uh, methods like by using 40 loop then there we have to write 
n minus 1 the size right then we will process the further logic but here we no need to do all those things fine so make it as more readable size right. fine now we have uh, another one functions called all match right so you might be aware of this one right so all match it will do it will take pad predicate as input parameters and it will process and will give you the result set right so whatever the results that will be in boolean right so yeah so we are providing it here uh, i so i is nothing but the one temporary variable we can say it right so i initial value will be zero so now we will do comparison so array of i means zero is equal equal array of two true or false so based on that it will give you the output so what happening here initially it is zero right so we are the sorry this cd is giving some problem giving, creating some disturbances sorry so guys uh, let's uh, go ahead so what it is happening here so the initial value is zero and for the first time it is going to pass area of i means zeros so it will check with the zeroth position so in area it will be index wise right so zeroth position one second position third position so likewise right so here it is going for the first position first index zeroth index and it is finding taking the value right so we are getting one and similarly for the two area second area at the zeroth index and it is trying to compare with the double equal to operator that is true right now similarly it will go till one G first position first position is also true and the second index position three and three true fourth and fourth three uh, sorry true five and six this false right so it will give you uh, the output as false right because both the contents are not same right until unless both the in uh, each contents are verified and if it founds all the contents are equal then only it will give you true or else false so we'll take it as uh, boolean one variable called is equal Sorry. now we will print it here we can write some masses as well is both the array is similar or we can say is right here or any any informational message we can give right it there now if we print it so is both the array content is same, same no false right so what if i doing do it here five right so it will again print the same true because both the array element is similar right now if we make it as uh, six means adding one more row right? so now see what will happen it will give you the exception why because we have defined the size till this one now the size is increasing but what we are not increasing the size of this one area 2 so this will the when it is incrementing the value this i value is incrementing that time let's say it is passing area of fifth element right 5 so it will give it will get the value 6 but what about this one so obviously we will get array index out of one exception because this array size is this size this fifth sixth element is not available fifth element is not at all the size is up to fourth element so it is exceeding the uh, array index size right so because of that reason we will be getting this we will getting that issue 
so guys hope you understood this uh, entire implementation and uh, similarly we have uh, i have uh, multiple other questions uh, and uh, that was asked in my previous interviews and i'll be sharing you uh, all those questions so please if you have not subscribed my channel if you are new please do subscribe and uh, if you are uh, already subscribed then please share and like my videos and uh, this is the channel sorry this is channel called tech evident right so here you can see the stream uh, api if you are new to stream api so i have explained all all the you know uh, kind of uh, briefing of stream api in this particular video you can go and watch and there are other videos that will be also helpful so please do subscribe and share my videos thank you thank you so much